morning everyone and welcome to Thursday morning prayers I'd like to welcome everybody that's not logged in this morning and all those that are logged in today we begin this morning with our lighted candle we light a candle for global peace and into spiritual unity in the name of our beloved father mother God who creates life in the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life. In the name of the spirit who is the fire of life. In the name of Gaia who is the earth mother that nurtures the creation of all life. In the name of all faith traditions who are the beloved sons and, sons and daughters of the divine life. We celebrate our spiritual diversity by honouring the supreme in all life. And we say this morning be still and aware of God's presence within and without. I just turn my music down. So I'd like to continue this morning, excuse me, with the prologue to the Thursday morning communion. Excuse me. I enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly father and earthly mother and great masters, reverence to the holy, pure and saving teachings, reverence to the brotherhood and the sisterhood of the elect. Thursday morning we commune with the angel of water saying, angel of water, enter my blood and give the water of life to my entire body. As you say this, you contemplate the waters of the earth in the rains, the rivers, the lakes, the seas, and anywhere. And the currents of the angels of the water are left intensifying and directing the circulation of the blood. So we think for a few moments of the angel of water. We think of all those places that need water at the moment. And we ask uh, that the angel of the water would would. Uh, take the water to those people that desperately need it. Think of those in Ethiopia where there is famine. We think of them and we just pray that they will get rain. And I'd like to pray the prayer of protection now. In the name of the risen cosmic Christ, I draw bloodline by faith around the TU community, around each one of us online today around our health, our finance, our homes, our partners, our families, our life's work and our friends and clients. We draw a bloodline by faith knowing that there is power, wondrous power in the precious blood of the risen cosmic Christ. And neither Satan nor any of his co-workers or dark energies or entities can ever cross such a bloodline. Amen. I always like to say the prayer of protection because I think it's quite important. So now we think of things that might be troubling us today. And we bring them to Christ the healer this morning. Or whoever your higher power may be. Whoever your higher power may be. Uh, or, or even if, it, if it's the angels. Uh, you can bring it to the angels this morning. And we turn all our problems over to the Lord this morning. As, as we go through prayers this morning, we hand our problems over. And we say, in the comfort of your love, I pour out to you, my Saviour, the memories that haunt me, the anxieties that perplex me, the fears that stifle me, the sickness that prevails upon me, the frustration of all the pain that weaves about within me. Lord, help me to see your peace in my turmoil your compassion in my sorrow, your forgiveness in my weakness, your love in my need. Touch us all, Lord. Touch each one of us online this morning with your healing power and with your strength so that we may be able to return to you, children of God, whole, perfect and complete. Amen. Let us listen for the voice of the Lord and enter his peace. Now, Psalm 95, a call to praise God. Every day, as long as today lasts, keep encouraging one another. That's from Hebrews. 
Come, ring out the joy of the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. An a mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depth of the earth, the, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, the dry land shaped by his hands. Come, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture. We are the flock led by his hand. All that today we, you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts as in the day of Merida, as in the day of Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though, and though, though they saw my work, for forty years I was wearied with these people, and I said, their hearts were astray, these people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. And I'd just like to say, this seems a little bit of a hard saying, uh, uh, but this is where, uh, when Moses was leading the children of Israel, uh, Israel uh, through the desert for 40 years, and they kept wandering away and going back to their old gods, the gods of Egypt, and God got weary with them. So this is what this is what we need to listen. We need to listen with our hearts. Christ the servant of God. Now a canticle from Philippians. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself and became and taking him on him on a form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him a name which is above every name. But at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, but God has exalted him on high forever. Now we have a scripture reading from James. Talk like and behave like people who are going to be judged by the law of freedom, because there will be judgment without mercy for those who have had no mercy themselves. For the merciful have no need of fear of judgment. I think that's all of the scripture. Now we come to the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah, if you'd like to join us with this. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty saviour in the house of David, his servant, as he has promised from the lips of holy men, those who were prophets from of old, a saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our enemies all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his way before him, to make known to his people their salvation through the forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those who are in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the new way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now I'd like to share a, a little reading from, uh, set by Sarah Young from Jesus Calling. And the, I've, I've been looking through this morning and, and these, I feel, felt that this one was a good one. 
Seek, seek to please me above all else. Let that goal be your focal point as you go through this day. Such a mindset will protect you from scattering your energy to the wind. The, the free will I bestowed on you comes with awesome responsibility. Each day presents you with choices, with a choice after choice. Many of these decisions you ignore and thus make, make by default. Without a focal point to guide you, you can easily lose your way. That's why it is so important to stay con in communion with me, living in thankful awareness of my presence. You inhabit a fallen, disjoint, you inhabit a fallen, disjointed world where things are continually unravelling around the edges. Only a vibrant relationship with me can keep you from coming unravel too. That's quite a good reading this morning. I think I'd like to share this other reading as well across the page today. You will not find you will not find my peace by engaging in excessive planning, attempting to control what will happen to you in the future. That is a, a, a commonly practiced form of unbelief. When your mind spins with, spins with multiple plans, peace may sometimes seem to be within your grasp, yet it always eludes you. Just when you think you have prepared for all possibilities, something unexpected pops up and throws you into confusion, and that's so true. I did not design the human mind to figure out the future. That is beyond your capability. I crafted your mind for continual communication with me. Bring me your needs, your hopes and fears. Commit everything into my care. Turn from the path of planning to the path of peace. That's a lovely, that's a lovely reading this morning. So now we come to intercessions this morning and we think of everybody that's online this morning um, and uh, we just pray Heavenly Father, Earthly Mother God, we pray for the Teyu community this morning, we pray for all its members past and present. We pray for Brother Sean and for Brother Rob today and we pray that Brother Rob will pick up and he will be feeling much better soon. And we just ask that your healing hand would be upon him. We pray for Brother Mary and for Brother Paul and for Brother Paul's wife, for Sister Olivia and for Teresa. We pray also this morning uh, for Sister Pam, Sister Nancy, Lisa, Sheila. We pray for Jeannie this morning. We just ask a blessing upon Jeannie and her family. And we pray for Brother Harry today. We pray for, pray for a blessing upon Brother Harry. And we pray for Father Richard today. We just pray for Father Richard. And we pray today for each one of us, all these that I mentioned today, we pray for anything that may be troubling us. And we pray today for Sister Elizabeth and Eleanor today. We just ask um, that they will be strengthened and that Eleanor will be able to come back to prayers. And we just pray also uh, for Sister Elaine, Laura and Sister Miriam, New Zealand. I'd like to pray for Ben, M and Paul, my friend Paul. And I pray for Ben and we thank you Lord that you are answering prayers and that he seems to be getting himself sorted out. We pray for Will today uh, and we just pray that uh, whatever treatment uh, they've offered him that he'll have the courage to go and have the treatment we pray also for Pat and Tony today we pray that for solutions to their problems and we pray today for Kath we also pray today for brother Paul US and for Mary Gates and I'd like to pray for Elsie and for Elsie's daughter Jane and for Richard and we pray for all our friends and prayer partners of the Teyu community. 
and I'd like to pray for Kathy, um, brother one of brother Sean's neighbours who is going blind. We pray for Kathy today, and pray that the Lord will help her with any treatment that she has to have. Excuse me. And we pray for all the requests on the chat board today. We just ask Lord that you will hear all our prayers today. And we stop for a few moments now. And we just draw close to the Lord in our hearts and we bring anything that might be troubling us this morning. We bring it to the Lord and we hand it over. And we let go and let God. Whatever you're concerned about this morning, whoever you're concerned about, hand it over to the Lord. And we give all our lists to the Lord this morning. And we say we let go and let God. And we let God take a hand in our prayers. We pray for all those who have passed away who are close to us. We pray that their souls may rest in peace. For those in troubled places in the world, we just pray that peace will come to this world, and especially to Syria. We pray that solutions will come to these problems. And we pray that the people that are desperately in need of help will get the help that they need. We pray for a unity of all faiths, that people will learn to come together in love. And we pray for all those with serious illnesses and incurable diseases. And especially for those suffering with cancer. And we think of, we think of Brother Sean's uh, young brother. And we pray also for those suffering with heart disease. And I pray for James today. And I also pray uh, for my, my young grandson Josh. And I'd like to also just pray for Lisa today, my granddaughter, just pray, uh, not my granddaughter, sorry, uh, my daughter-in-law, um, that, uh, that uh, she makes a real good recovery. And we pray today uh, for all those with nobody to pray for them, all those that feel unloved and unwanted and down and, and out. We just pray for them today. And we just pray today for all those that are suffering in mind, body and spirit today. And we pray for all our pets. And we just pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. We pray, Heavenly Father, Earthly Mother God, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we just ask, Lord, that you help us just today to draw close to you. And to put our, put our future in your hands and to trust you for the future, Lord. And we say, breathe on us, breath of God. Fill our hearts with life anew, that we might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Touch our lives, Lord, that we might see you in everything that lives and moves, and as it's been from you this day. Empower us, Lord, to live in the present moment, seeking only your love and light. Amen. And I'd just like to thank you for being with us this morning. I thank you for sharing prayers this morning. And we'll draw to a close with the blessing. We say the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this day, on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother, son and sister moon be in our hearts now and forever. Amen. And we'll blow out the candle and we send love, light, blessing and peace to all those troubled places in the world. And we blow love to one another. Amen.
So thank you for being with us today and if it's evening where you are, have a good night's sleep and if it's morning, have a great day. So we'll say blessings and peace everyone.